Hi guys, uh, we're going to have a look uh, now at uh, my private files uh, in Moodle 2.4. Uh, so this is an area where users can store, um, as the name suggests, their private files uh, for later on use in um, in a course or just for um, some web storage. So um, let me show you where to access the private files. This is um, just a, a local um, Moodle installation that I've got on my demo site. Um, two different ways you can get to it. Uh, you can either click on My Home uh, and then you'll see a block My Private Files. Uh, or you can access it through My Profile, My Private Files. It takes you to the same uh, place eventually. Now one thing to point out within, uh, within Moodle it has to be uh, enabled first by uh, where are we repositories it has to be enabled by your site administrator um, so it should be should already be set up but they may have disabled it um, if uh, you can't access it if you you can't see what I can see on your Moodle then have a chat with your um, site administrator and ask them to uh, enable it for you so Back to where we were, uh, we'll go my home. And then you can see this is the my private files block, um, which as a teacher you can add to a number of pages. Um, you can see a few files that I've got there already. I can click on manage my private files. So I can click on add. Uh, I've got the upload a file option there in the uh, repository here. Um, and I can click on choose a file, find it on my computer, um, upload it. And here I can play around with uh, choosing the different licenses that I want to apply to files that I upload as well. I'll talk about the different licenses in a um, in another another video. I've got some files already that I've uploaded. Uh, we've got an image here. Uh, this is a, a text document, and this is just a folder. So there's a link there. You can create uh, as many folders as you want, um, or you can download everything. Um, to your computer. Um, now because I'm actually admin on this account um, I've got unlimited upload. Um, the uh, the site administrator can actually set um, uh, the amount of space that you can use for storage. Uh, I think by default it's around about 100 meg. Um, obviously if you're an institution with lots of users uh, it can really eat up your um, storage space. So that's all stuff that can be set by the administrator, your site administrator, and also the upload file size. Just one other thing to point out here, there's a little menu there. So you can click on that, you can rename, uh, zip things and download it. Um, so the other thing you can do, um, you can just click on one of these and rename it if you want. Be careful with your extension there, be careful you don't accidentally change it, it could cause problems. Uh, or again, you can download uh, individual files that you've got stored. So there we go, uh, that's my private files. Um, anywhere in Moodle where you can, uh, as a teacher, where you can add files, um, the, the private files will appear as an option. Uh, let me just hop back to my file picker. Uh, so I've got server files, recent files, private files. Uh, that's because I haven't got any other repositories set up on this installation here. Um, but if I wanted to add one of these to a course, then I'd be able to access it by just clicking on uh, the private files tab there when I'm inserting a, a file or if I want to use it as a, um, uh, as a resource. Okay, so there we go. Let me just show you one last thing. Uh, over this side, there's a few uh, options. You can show some details, and you can also, um, if you want, display it so you can see the path where they are stored on your installation. Um, that's uh, your private, well, my private files. Um, in Moodle 2.4, um, very similar, uh, any Moodle 2 installation that you've got 2 and above, 2.0 and above. 
hopefully you found that useful uh thanks very much for watching